I'm a mom of three wonderful sons. My, two of my children have autism, and my oldest son, who is now grown, is grown into a fine young man who is attending college. With Damon and Robbie, I began to notice delays in speech. The cooing wasn't as much as it needed to be. Playing with toys wasn't the way that it, I felt it should be, that I saw other children playing with toys. I began to know that something was wrong. But then you ask yourself, what do I do? What can I do? Something's not right. That you do know. But how do you go about helping your child? How do you go about finding the services? How do you go about finding anything? What's available to me? Where do I begin? I felt alone. I felt scared. I felt frightened. I thought, am I the only one out there? There has to be more. This can't just be me. Through dealing with my own emotions, I went through fear. I went through anger. I went through the whole grieving process. But I had to stop myself as a mother and say, listen, get this out of your system because you have been told the younger they are as you get these services, the better the outcome will be for the child. So their services became more about them and I had to deal with what I needed to deal with on the inside. But through the doors of the Therapy and Learning Center, I began to see I am not the only one. I felt very welcomed. I felt understood. And through these services that we have been receiving, I went from a child that was nonverbal to a child that can complete a sentence and functionally use that sentence. I went from a child through occupational services that went from not being able to write a letter to write the whole alphabet, to write all of his numbers, to know those numbers. Through the services at the Therapy and Learning Center, began to understand what a pair of scissors were and what they were used for, and to actually be able to cut paper in the lines instead of trying to cut his hair or the clothes that he wears. The therapists at the Therapy and Learning Center have worked with my children and have worked with my children for so long, we have spent a majority of our lives at the Therapy and Learning Center. And all I have seen is pure success and how they hands on hands, get with my children. They know how to relate to my children. They understand my children. If the Therapy and Learning Center did not exist, my heart would be broken due to the children I know that are disabled as well as my own that would not be getting the services or would not be getting the proper guidance, would not be getting the therapy needed. These, these services are needed and should be carried out as much as possible in order for each and every individual child to succeed. Without the Therapy and Learning Center, there would be so many children that would be left with nowhere to go, no services available. What would be the outcome for their life skills? What would be the outcome for their lives? When I leave my children at the Therapy and Learning Center to receive their services for the day, I'm not just leaving my children with the therapist, I'm leaving my children with family.